Hey guys and welcome back to War Thunder is Krebs and in today's video what we're going to be doing is a map guide of sorts. I got a comment on one of my videos yesterday by this gentleman who roughly said that he still has trouble with placements and where to stand on maps and go in certain situations. So what I'm going to be doing for you guys is this map guide and unfortunately I can't cover every single map in a single video because that would just be so much material for one single video. So what I'm going to do is dedicate this video particularly towards Ash River. And if you guys enjoy this, then feel free to leave a comment in the comment box below if you want me to expand onto other maps in this sort of style as well. So what you're seeing in front of you is a map of Ash River on the Domination game mode. So that is three cap zones separated across the battlefield. But I've also specifically highlighted the ending locations of the AI across the map. Now in realistic battles this isn't very important, but in arcade battles it can be because killing an AI adds up points towards unlocking aircraft. And so as you can imagine, knowing the exact positions of where AI are going to stop, you can easily snipe them and then add up those points to unlocking your eventual aircraft. If you're playing arcade, the best way I've found to kill as many AI as possible at the start of a round is to focus your efforts on the southern spawn point. So if you're on the western side, you would head along this direction, around here, and you should be immediately able to spot this guy sitting on top of the hill. You can snipe him, get that easy kill, and if you work your way still a little bit more towards A, you should be able to spot this gentleman sitting right over here. With a little bit more effort, you might even see this guy as well. But if you work your way along the cliff side, you should be able to spot a numerous amount of AI down towards the middle of the map. Likewise, you can do the same from the east, but it's not as easy as it is from the west. If you want to be able to shoot those AI, you'll have to go over the hill around this location, and then you'll be able to spot all of these AI. The only thing is, you expose yourself to the enemy, so you put yourself at great risk of being shot and killed. Likewise, you can also shoot the enemies that are down over here by just working your way towards the cliffside, and that should be in relative safety as you don't have to expose a whole lot of your profile. Now I like to say that certain vehicles excel on certain maps and even within those maps specific areas. The southern side of the map that is defined by the hill area is much more tailored towards any vehicle that has good gun depression but also good turret armor. And the reason why I say that is because this area is defined by hilly terrain, and if you have good gun depression, such as British vehicles for example, then you can easily work alongside that hilly terrain and make advantages of it. So if you're playing a tank with good gun depression, I would highly recommend going along the bottom side of the map, and the reason why is because you can definitely take advantage of that good gun depression around here. Now chances are you might meet somebody in a direct confrontation around this location, or around this location. But as long as you've got the superior sort of gun depression, you should be able to make quick work of them. And from there, you can again use that terrain to your advantage to shoot down the enemies located around this location and around here. And chances are those are going to be flanking shots into the side armor of enemies as they're more preoccupied about what's going on directly in front of them and on A. However, if you're playing a tank with poor gun depression and I'm looking at you Russian vehicles, especially you IS-2s, then I would recommend going along the top side of the map. And the reason why is because there's hills just around here and here that people usually park themselves and you can snipe across the way at your opponents that way. But likewise, you can also make a dash down along the hillside and towards C where the terrain is very, very flat, and you can use these rocks to try and outflank your opponents that are down in this area. But likewise, there aren't any vehicles that have poor gun elevation. In which case, once you've conquered C, then you can point your gun up the way along the hill and target enemies at the top of the hill without any problems. Now I would call B the death zone because it really is like that. And the thing is, B is a very dangerous place to go when the enemies have captured A because then they have the terrain advantage. They have a vantage point from alongside the top of the cliff where they can snipe anyone that is located down here in the middle of the map. 
So if you're heading to B, I would highly recommend doing it in a fast vehicle because say if you're spawning in from the eastern spawn point and you're heading along this direction through the bridge, you can easily get sniped from anyone on the cliff face over here. Likewise, if you're heading from the western side of the map, you can get sniped directly from anyone over here. The nice thing is though that anyone that exposes themselves over the cliff face can actually be uh, shot back at from anyone in the middle of the map. Now here's some tips to help you win the round. If you go for B, I would highly recommend using the rock formation along the southern side of B in order to protect yourself from any oncoming fire from the hillside. Another advantageous position to go if you've got good gun depression and turret armor, and I'm looking at you Yag Tiger or Yag Panther, is around this area here, but also this area here, because it gives you a very nice vantage point of what's going on over A. And you can use the terrain, your gun depression, and your turret armor as an advantage to deal damage to the enemies without taking any yourself. Now I've seen some people do really sneaky things. In realistic battles I've even seen enemies position themselves on this rock formation over here. There are a lot of boulders and you can actually maneuver yourself on top of them and have yourself situated to look down at sea. A lot of times people don't look at the boulders and don't expect there to be a vehicle there. So you can surprise enemies that are heading down along these locations and fire straight on into them. Personally, when I'm playing this map, I almost always spawn in at the southern spawn point because I love having that height advantage over everyone else because once you can conquer the southern area, then you can easily do work on the people out in the middle. So as an example, if I'm spawning in from the western side, I'll usually head along this direction, make sure that there's no enemies immediately spotted around here and also here, and then I will work my way to the cliff face and snipe down any potential targets that are crossing the bridge through the middle. You can pick off some really easy kills that way. But if you do spot any enemies in these areas, then you have to deal with them promptly before you can continue shooting down at the enemies in the middle of the map. And the reason why is because they can get vantage points into your side armor. So as you can imagine, you're gonna die very soon otherwise. So once the majority of the hill has been conquered, what I tend to do is work my way up the map. Firstly, by just dropping off the cliff face and making my way towards B, I get that capped, but also likewise, I make sure that all the enemies are dead simply just by going underneath these bridges around here and uh, that gives me good flanking opportunities and from there I'll work my way towards C. Now the nice thing about C is that it has, uh, it's very low in terms of its height on this map and there are hills that lead on down to it. So I utilize those hills to my advantage, I can spot enemies down below but then I just work my way down along those hills and with the terrain slope, I can easily shoot into the enemies that are on that cap zone. And lastly, if you're playing an SPAA, I'd highly recommend staying in the spawn areas in these locations here. And the reason why is because, firstly, if you go anywhere else, there's a high chance of you getting shot and killed from an enemy vehicle. But likewise, they give you a good range of sight of any overhead aircraft. If you go on the southern, southern area of the map where the hill is, You've got a lot of mountains surrounding the area and they will just block half of your sight. Likewise, if you go down to C, it's just going to be blocking a lot of your sight as well, but it also puts you in danger from enemy vehicles. So anyway guys, that should give you a good idea of where to go on Ash River depending which vehicle you're using. Of course, it's not set in stone. I have seen vehicles with absolutely terrible gun depression make success out of the hill area. It really depends also on your skill and a degree of luck. How many enemies will you meet? But anyway guys, I hope you found this informative and enjoyed. Do you want me to do any more of these on other maps? Feel free to leave that in the comment box below, but thank you very much for watching and until the next one, this is Krebs and I'll catch you guys later.